Night lapses like that looks pretty cool, but it would be so much cooler if the camera actually moved. If I could turn the camera around just exactly how I want to, if I had like a little device that could do that, that would be awesome. I know there's a lot of stuff on the internet where you can buy like small devices that can turn the camera around, but it would be cooler just to build it ourselves. And I know exactly the guy who can make a camera mount just like this. So let's go with the intro. <laughs> Hey, welcome to a new video. Uh, Anders made me a challenge to create this camera mount for him. Hey. Hey, Gasper. Can you make me a motorized camera mount? Yeah, sure. Great. So this is what we're doing at the moment. Um, I got my coffee. Uh, design is quite ready. And I already did the first for, wait, you can't see that, there, for the uh, piece of ease. Today, it's just gonna be building, so come along and, well, yeah, it's gonna be a montage, so <laughs> enjoy it. probably tell this is printing over here. I'm working on the electronics. There's an Arduino Uno, there's a stepper driver motor, there's a power supply, there's an LCD, and there's a little input joystick. a lot of programming, a lot of designing, a lot of building, but I have motor working, I have the LCD working, I have my user interface working with my little joystick, I got the Arduino working, I got the motor working, and I got the current sensing working. And at the moment, it's just a matter of basically programming the motor to do what I wanted to do when I wanted to do it. And that's starting to come together as well. I actually have a motor turning the way I wanted to turn. I got my jump functions working, I got everything working. It still is a jumbled mess, but right now focuses on programming everything the way I want it to do and basically getting everything working correctly. And then I'll build the rest of it. And then the exciting part comes when we need to build the gearbox, which is my little custom made gearbox made with O-rings and pulleys. So that's gonna be exciting. For now, more programming. There's a lot of programming left. Well, back to time lapse. to share something with you because I have had a bit of a progress. Basically you go down here in settings and then we set a place to start. This now turns. We press start. Then we set a place for the camera to stop. That's gonna be here. Stop. And we're gonna set a time. We're just gonna choose one minute. And press OK. And then we go main menu. Then we press start and the camera turns back to the start position. There we go. And we press OK. And we start counting the time where the camera is turning little by little so it will move from the start position to the end position within the time we specified. And we can follow the time here. Take a look. It's turning very slowly, but it's turning. And there we go. It stopped turning. It's one minute, one second. It is one second over what we set it to, but that's only because I have to add one second in order to avoid the dividing by zero, uh, which of course you cannot do. So, it works! <laughs> There's a lot of stuff to make better and I want to use micro-stepping. Uh, I don't know 
the subdivision for the micro stepping on this. Uh, oh, yeah. And I need to optimize my code because <laughs> I'm already at 87% of my Arduino Nano. So I got to find a way to optimize it. So I still have room for the other two modes, even though it shouldn't take as much uh, space. But still. Anyway, back to building. The idea was to make three modes. First one being the X to Y, basically just going from X to Y within a specified amount of time. The next mode I did was the constant speed mode. It's just basically turn at a constant speed. It'll keep turning until you go and stop it. And the last mode is something Anas actually required. Basically, he was worried about movement blur during long exposure capture of time lapses. So I made this mode so that he can adjust when the camera moves, and that's the super slow motion mode. I just managed to get my super slow mode to work on this thing. Uh, this is the last mode I need to get working. I already have the X to Y, basically, where you want to go from one position to a different position in a set amount of time. Uh, that is working, that's up and running. It's running both very slowly and very fast. At this moment, I'm going insanely slow with this super slow mode. So far, so good. A little contained unit. Well, little might be <laughs> a unit at least, so it's a contained unit. So besides the obvious power cord that needs to be attached to a, what is that called? Like casing kind of thingy. Uh, <clears throat> besides this, electronics is now integrated in here. We have a unit with the power supply, the motor, the Arduino up here, shield down here, a power current measure here, LCD, and a little joystick. And then here will the gearbox be attached. So basically, a shaft here, shaft here, gearbox, gearbox, moving camera. That's the next part, building the rest of it. So, I guess we'll just continue. Although it seems like it's working just fine, when I put a camera on it, the gearbox didn't work. Also, while troubleshooting that, I managed to be a complete and utter idiot and fry both the Arduino and the stepper motor driver. That means this right now is actually the whole, <laughs> the whole camera mount. Um, <clears throat> and this right now basically has to be redesigned. It has to be redesigned because none of this is going to fit the current design. Uh, I need to change this one out. I need to make this one be able to fit. This one, different mount here. So I got Yop to make this one for me. There's not much really else to do than back to the drawing board and redesign it, reprint it, rebuild it, and make it work the second time. So back to building. done right now. Uh, there's only a few things left in the programming where I uh, basically just need to adjust it for the changes we've done. And I then printed a new button for the camera mount as the old one was slightly off. And I made the cover. So when all of that is assembled, it's pretty much done. Then we can actually give it to Anas and see what he can do with the well, timeless camera like that. We're gonna go back to the montage and finish this up and wrap it up. And I'll see you when the whole thing is done. Oh, this is basically 
basically it. The camera mount is now done. All there is to it is now give it to Anas, because let's not forget, he was the one who asked for this in the very beginning. And I can't wait to see what he comes up with when it comes to this, because to be honest, what I find the most satisfying about this is actually seeing what I make being used by others. You design something, it comes out of your head, goes onto the computer, and then little by little, slowly, by using your hands, and well, <laughs> a lot of machinery. A lot of machinery. It starts to come into real life. And this is looking very much like the one we actually had on the computer in the beginning. Well, not in the beginning, after I redesigned it, but anyway, enough talk. Let's get this to Anas. Let's see what he can use it for. See you at Anas's place. Okay, we are at Anas's place, so let's go give it this camera mount thingy to him. Hey, hey, here you go. <laughs> You're done? Yes. Nice. This is awesome, man. It's a little big though. <laughs> oh, it was bigger before. I think we should go try it. I have an idea. Okay. You wanna mow the lawn? <laughs> mow the lawn? Yeah, sure, let's go mow the yeah, lawn. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> Need to put a battery on this next time. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Power up. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> So basically, this is gonna be the view. Is it okay? We're gonna take from this angle to this angle. I think if we can do that in, I don't know, 30 minutes. Okay, so from here to there in 30 minutes. Yes. Let's do that. Are we okay, Felix? Are we good to go? I think we're good to go. We're good to go? <laughs> yeah. Felix approves. <laughs> Hard work testing your camera mount. <laughs> Nice, you can put it on a tripod. <laughs> At least I did something right, right? So I made it very transportable, having no battery, but you can put it on a tripod. But it works! <laughs> it, it works! Can you help me with the uh, cable here? Yes. Perfect. How's the view up there? It's, uh, it's looking good. There's a couple of horses, and you can see the water up there. We like moving with the sun. We're, at least we're trying to. But uh, let's see. It's gonna be awesome. I like the dedication we put into this. <laughs> How long time do you think it's gonna take for the sun come? Well, uh, I will turn off this camera because then I have a phone that can figure it out for me. Okay, do that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna take a picture every two seconds. I'm gonna set this every two seconds for three hours. Yeah. So that's how much? How much is that? <laughs> uh, well, it's thirty per minute. Hundred and eight hundred six dollar. <laughs> right. Twenty-four frames. Fuck! Never do math when the camera's Fuck on. Fuck that. I'm gonna sit on. <laughs> never do math when the camera's on. Set the time. Three hours, homing, record, and it's recording. Okay, have a look. It looks good from down here. It does from here as well. Let's see how that turns out, Casper. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking forward to see it.
morning. 1027 pictures during the night. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video. We're taking us down, you just saw the night lapse. If you wanna watch a lot more of these kind of video oriented stuff and not so much science tech, more spear fishing, video storytelling and so on, we have a lot more of that over on our other channel called Adiat. Uh, for now, thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one, hopefully. Bye.